Mount Summers sits along the foothills of the Southern Alps, offering expansive views of Canterbury and the highest peaks in Aotearoa. The mountain's unique volcanic history has produced an interesting landscape for trampers to explore. Its accessibility and a variety of options for all ability levels make it a popular tramping destination for every kind of tramper. Whether you are looking for a day walk or an overnight adventure, you can find it in Mount Summers. Mount Summers has numerous walking tracks that can be attempted in any direction. It truly is a pick-your-own-adventure, depending on the weather, your fitness level and how much time you have. The south face, including the summit and Mount Summers track, can have persistent snow cover during winter and spring. So the best time of year to attempt these routes is from November through April. The tracks to Woolshed Creek Hut can be done year-round in the right conditions. The average daily summer temperature sits around 7 to 19 degrees and you can expect approximately 95 days of rain per year. It's important to remember that Mount Summers is in the high country, so there is a good chance you will experience heavy rain, strong winds, snow and freezing temperatures, even in the height of summer, especially on the sections of the track at higher elevations. Prepare for all conditions by taking warm and waterproof clothing, as well as a good pair of tramping boots. It gets hot here in summer, so pack plenty of water and take a communication device, ideally a distress beacon. As with all walks and tramps in New Zealand, make sure you leave your intentions with a trusted contact and inform them when you've finished your tramp. You can do this on our Plan My Walk app. It takes the guesswork out of trip planning by bringing together the information you need. It's packed with heaps of useful features to help you create a trip plan to share with others. Download the app or check out planmywalk.nz. There are two entrances to Mount Summers, Sharpland Falls Car Park and Woolshed Creek Car Park. Starting from Woolshed Creek Car Park, you can walk the 5km, 3 hour minus track to the Woolshed Creek Hut. This track starts on the left side of the car park. If you've crossed a bridge, you're actually heading up the Rylite Ridge, which will take you to the same place, but it's a tougher route. The miners' track is fairly straightforward. There will be a bit of climbing, a few creek crossings, and some mining history to view along the way. Just follow the signs and track markers to stick to the walking track. Woolshed Creek Hut must be booked in advance, but there is plenty of space to camp around the hut. There are lots of opportunities to explore the area with waterfalls, swimming holes and nice vistas close by. Just make sure you let someone know where you're headed or write in the hut book before heading out. There's often a warden present, so check in with them for advice or information. You can head back to the car park the way you came, or if you are looking for an extra challenge, take the Rylite Ridge track, which sidles along the mountain before a steep descent completes the Woolshed Creek Loop. This should take around two to three hours to complete. Another option from Woolshed Creek Hut is to continue along the Mount Summers track for 4.6 kilometers or three hours to Pinnacles Hut. The first half of this section starts with a 360 meter climb up to a saddle. The track is a bit steeper and takes you to an elevation just shy of 1,200 meters. Prepare for cooler temperatures, stronger winds, and maybe some low visibility as it is more exposed up here. From the saddle, the descent begins. The track will bring you past some of the pinnacles and there are just great views all around. So enjoy the walk down to Pinnacles Hut. Bookings are required here, so make sure you do this in advance. A big group can fill up the hut fast and there isn't much camping space. If you do stay the night, it's well worth waking up early to see the sunrise over the Canterbury Plains and the side of the mountain. From Pinnacles Hut, you can then complete the Mount Summers track by heading to the Shapland Falls car park. Heavy rain can easily flood the streams on this section of the track, so be conscious of this when looking at the weather forecast and planning your trip. The track is a bit rougher on this day, so watch your footing and take the steeper section slowly. Towards the end of the track, it may be tempting to head straight down to Bowers Creek to get out of the car park. However, this is not an option, as you'll soon get bluffed out and have to return the way you came. So keep to the track and make the small climb up to Duke Knob for a safe descent down to Sharpland Falls. Your journey on the Mount Summers track can also start from the Sharpland Falls car park. Just take the same track, but in reverse. The other option from Sharpland Falls is to make a full loop of Mount Summers. You can connect both car parks via the South Face track. This track is more likely to be covered with persistent snow in winter and spring, so keep this in mind when deciding whether to use this route or not. 
You can also use the South Face track to access the climb up to Mount Summer's summit. This is 4.7 kilometers or five hours one way with a 1,200 meter ascent. The summit track starts from Sharpland Falls car park and begins climbing immediately. The bush starts to open up after gaining about 620 metres of elevation, and the track junction for the summit isn't too far away. Use the track junction as a decision-making point. Look up and see if there is any snow present. If there is, then turn back if you don't have the appropriate skills and equipment. Turning around is also a good option if the top is covered in cloud, as it's easy to lose the track and there won't be a view at the top anyway. Take the opportunity to look to the south and see what weather may be coming to meet you. This isn't a fun place to be in a bad front. If it's clear, then you can start the climb up to the top. The track to the summit is difficult, steep and unrelenting. It's easy to get lost on the way up, so follow the track marker poles closely to avoid losing the route. When you reach the summit on a clear day, you'll be able to enjoy the expansive views before heading back down the same way you came. There is an adventure for everyone on Mount Summers given the right weather conditions. Make sure you are prepared for a stress-free trip by aiming to tramp between November and April, picking the right trip length and intensity for your group's abilities, check the weather forecast and make hut bookings in advance, pack appropriate clothing and equipment for all conditions. Whether you are a hardcore tramper or a family on their first trip, there will be plenty to experience at Mount Summers.